Hey everyone, it's Jay here. You know what time it is. Here are the games coming out for the week of the 3rd on November. Coming up on the 5th, we have four games coming out. The Lord of the Rings Adventure Card Game is just that. A story-driven strategy card game that has some resemblance to Hearthstone. Pick three heroes from some of the most iconic characters of Middle-earth, then build your deck around their specific abilities and powers. The game comes out with two full story campaigns and online play. Just Dance 2020 is another dance game in the Just Dance genre series. The game comes with 40 hot tracks from topping artists like Old Town Road Remix by Little Nas featuring Billy Ray Cyrus and God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. To be honest, I'm not like into music like this, so games like this don't really interest me, but I can't deny their success and popularity among people who do like this game, so if you're into dance games, then this game may be for you. Ships is a simulation strategy game where you extract large-scale marine facilities from the bottom of the sea, transport and assemble offshore installations, as well as perform rescue and transport missions. You will take control of crew members to defend the ship against pirate attacks, put out fires, or pick out survivors. How many Mario and Sonic Olympic games are they going to release? Jeez, that's right, we have another one coming out just in time for the Tokyo Olympics coming out in 2020. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 is the latest in the Olympic game franchise and this time they have updated the sports to reflect what competitions will be at the actual Olympics. For example, in the next year's Olympics, they'll finally be introducing skateboarding as a sport and this game includes that along with surfing, sport climbing, karate, and a variety of other events. I usually never buy this game for myself, but I have played the Olympic Games at Dave & Buster's before. Hey, if they have some updates at Dave & Buster's for the actual arcade game, you'll definitely see me at my local Dave & Buster's giving this a try with my friends. On the 6th, we have Construction Simulator 2, US, Console Edition, which is a game where you are an owner of a construction company, and the goal is to accept different construction jobs that require repairing crumbly roads, rebuilding railroad bridges, gardening work, building new residences, and more. It's what you would expect from a construction simulation game. Nothing too crazy going on here. Alright, get ready, because we have 16 games coming out on the 7th. The Manga Works is another management sim where you are a management artist with the goal of producing the best manga the world has seen. You go out in search of inspiration, gather plot points, accumulate experience points, and use them to train up your drawing, storytelling, and other skills. It's a mobile game that came out earlier this year and is now being ported over to the Switch. Strange Telephone is a 2D adventure game in which the player explores strange worlds created with merely six digits and has multiple endings. It came out on Steam, iOS, and Android earlier this year and is now making its way to the Switch. Ritual Crowns of Horns is a slaughterhouse top-down run-and-gun arcade shooter with a Midwestern theme. It has a unique blend of different modes like classic horde mode, base defense mode, and arcade mode. Skybolt Zack is finally making its way to the Switch. I remember talking about this game two or three weeks ago when it was supposed to release earlier last month, but then the game mysteriously disappeared from the Nintendo website lineup. I'm assuming it was because the developer may have wanted to finish up more time with the port of the game, or maybe they thought sales would do better now? Well, either way, it's an arcade platformer that has a unique way of mixing platformer mechanics and color matching by attacking certain colored enemies and taking different routes throughout the level. Hopefully nothing crazy will happen to the game and it will be released on the 7th. Juicy Realm is a roguelike shooter in which the food chain has been completely disrupted, making plants become aggressive and hungry for humans. Because of this, humans have set up outposts along the border of the aggressive plant habitats for investigations, defense, and as a soldier, you take on the role of confronting these human-eating plants head-on. The Grisaya Trilogy is a visual novel series which revolves around Yuji Kazami and his interactions with other people. There are different plot lines that have you end up with different endings, and since this is a romance novel, it involves talking with different women. Honestly, this type of game is really just not for me, but if you're into romance visual novels, well, here you go. Another one on the Switch. Why not? From the creators of Yoshi's Crafted World comes Monkey Barrels, a top-down shooter set in post-apocalyptic Japan where a home appliance manufacturer now rules the world and the CEO of the world kidnaps Kotetsu, the best friend of the hero Masaru. 
Masaru, along with his friends, venture off to save their friend and stop the nefarious home appliance manufacturer from attacking any more animals. Stay Cool, Kobayashi-san, A River City Ransom Story is a spin-off of the classic River City Ransom series where you now play with Kobayashi, the rival of Kunio from the original series. The story takes place when Kobayashi was younger, back in middle school. You meet a boy named Mezuguchi, who is actually a time regulator going after an evil organization that has disrupted the time-space equilibrium. After finding out that Kobayashi has a hint of mysterious powers in him, Mezuguchi has them set out together to take down this evil organization. Puzzlement is one of those simple games where you collect all the red squares by walking or jumping between plain surfaces. It's a casual game that came out on Steam back earlier in 2018, and now it's making its way to the Switch. Tokyo Dark Remembrance is a point-and-click adventure novel where it follows the story of Detective Ito Ami, who was searching for her partner Detective Kazuki Tanenka, who went missing during a case. The player's choices directly affect Ami's mental state and thought processes, which later results in one of the game's multiple endings. The game came out on Windows in 2017, and it's finally making its way to the Switch. Head Snatchers is a party game where the goal of the game is to snatch your friend's heads to come out victorious. Customize your head with over 95 unique heads, and then challenge your friends to brawls to steal their heads and do dumb stuff with them, like bowling, basketball, or flushing them down the toilet. Enjoy, friends! As Divine Kimura is the sequel to the first As Divine game, where after the transcendent being Zades appears and begins altering the world, the spirit deity Shiki sets out to gather mystical orbs scattered throughout various regions to restore his world. It's an RPG where you engage in fierce 3x3 grid battles and employ ranged attacks to counter enemy formations. It's a mobile game that came out earlier this year and is being ported over to the Switch. Meanders is a first-person platform adventure game where you meander through colorful levels and do different challenges with red balls throughout the level. You may have to throw a ball at something to activate part of the level, or you may have to pop balloons to complete a level. It gives a challenging feeling with colorful graphics. Animus Harbringer is an RPG where you are a forgotten follower of the late King Cadmus, and your goal is to bring judgment to those who have betrayed the land of Cadmia. There is over 20 main quests along with a couple side quests and a bunch of boss fights. It's a mobile game that came out earlier this year on iOS and Android and is being ported over to the Switch. Incredible Mandy is an adventure puzzle game where two siblings lost their memory of each other and they traverse through the dream world to tackle obstacles, unlock puzzles, defeat huge enemies, and collect forgotten memories, eventually uncovering the truth between themselves. Super Street Racer is another street racing game coming out to the Switch. You can use tons of different car parts from different aftermarket brands to customize your exterior, interior, and performance on your car. You can race around in different environments like you would expect any other racer to do. I'm not really too interested in this game as they already have Asphalt 9 out. However, if the game is less monetization hungry, then I may be more interested. I mean, this game really shouldn't have that many microtransactions since it is a $50 game and Asphalt 9 is free, so we'll really have to see how this game really fares. And finally, we have 9 games releasing on the 8th. House of Golf is a mini golf game that is set in different house settings. They have over 130 levels and different golf balls that you can unlock as you progress in the game. You can play solo or multiplayer with up to 6 players. One Person Story is a puzzle game where you are presented with characters, objects, and events that represent real life situations. You will be placed in interesting situations that will challenge your problem solving skills, and with over a hundred different levels with various mechanics introduced in mid-level, it will definitely make you think outside of the box. Football Game is a 2D indie point and click story game where you are Tommy, a local high school football hero in the town of East Bend, and you come across something weird that is going on in your hometown. You come across characters including friends, foes, teachers, and a weirdly concerned mother. It's a short but twisted narrative with approximately 45 minutes to an hour of gameplay, and the game has some great ratings from reviews, so I would definitely give this a recommend. Sturmwind EX is a shoot 'em up at the core sense of the definition. 16 levels, different selectable weapons that can be upgraded, additional super weapons like Super Beam and Smart Bomb, tons of different enemies, and more than 20 large boss enemies. This game came out about a month ago on Steam and is now making its way to the Switch. 
New Super Lucky Tail is an adventure platformer that follows Lucky on his quest to rescue the Book of Ages from the mysterious jinx in his nefarious kitty litter. It brings back this idea of collectible adventure games where you collect items throughout a stage to unlock different rewards and costumes. This game came out on Xbox One in 2018 and is now making its way to the Switch. Disney's Sum Sum Festival is a party video game where characters from Disney's Sum Sum step foot into a store where they can play 10 different party games, including curling, air hockey, and more. What surprised me is that this game is going to have online play, which I think increases the replay value since there's only 10 games and let's be real, that's going to go by pretty fast in this day and age. Layton's Mystery Journey, Catrelli and the Millionaire's Conspiracy Deluxe Edition is a 3DS puzzle game being ported over to the Switch. It's the seventh main entry in the Professor Layton series and follows a new protagonist, Catrelli Layton. The game is a mystery-solving action-adventure game where you progress through the story while walking around town, chatting with local residents, looking for clues, and solving puzzles and mysteries. This new deluxe edition of the game includes 40 new puzzles, unlocked DLC content, more outfits, and better graphics. Jumanji the video game is an action-adventure game that is based off the movie Jumanji with The Rock, Kevin Hart, and Jack Black. Since usually movie-based games are trash, I'm not really going to hold my breath on this one, and yeah, let's keep moving. And last on our list is Blindy, a Souls-like platformer that has 60 unique levels that require skill, death, and practice. Blindy is a hardcore platformer that isn't for everyone, but if you enjoy a challenge, then this may be for you. Wow, it seems like Nintendo's almost averaging just about 30 games every week to release on the Switch. Pretty crazy. Let me know what you guys think about the games coming out this week, if you're excited for any. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, and if you are interested, you can subscribe as I'm trying to do this every week, along with any other things that you guys are interested in. Just leave it below in the comments, or you can get on our Discord at any time, and I'll see you guys in the next one.